microphone, sir. The existing home sales numbers for you. These are very important in the housing market. 6.5% uh, increase. Uh, okay, 6.5% increase in existing home sales and a 5% increase, 5%, no, I'm sorry, a 5.3 million home selling number for the entire year. So that's the pace of selling of existing homes. Five point, that's probably the most important number, 5.3 million per year. Come on in, Team Investments, Tanya Marchio joining us from Phoenix. You know a thing or two about this. I, I say that 5.3 million Existing home sales a year is an improvement. What say you? This is a great improvement. We went down a little bit last month and it was a little bit disappointing. But we have to realize that inventory has been tight. It's the lowest since 2002. So the fact that people are buying what's out there is great. This number is a positive sign for housing. And we've seen a little bit of volatility, but with new home sales up, existing home sales up, that shows strengthening in housing. Six and a half percent increase. That's what we actually saw. And the, that's the absolute number. Again, that is, how, how would you characterize that? Uh, it, it's not exactly boom times, but it's pretty solid, isn't it? It's solid and stable, and that's what we talk about all the time, is stabilizing housing. Not big upticks, we don't want to see downturns, but stable housing. I'm going to take a break for a second and go to Nicole. I want her to check the home building stocks for me. I'm going to come back to you in a second, Tanya, with a word on pricing. Uh, Nicole, home builder stocks, please. I was just please. looking at them. Stuart, you're right, because they jumped. Let's see what they're doing right now. Even KB Home, moved, these moved into positive territory. All three had been negative. Uh, one was actually down over 1%. All moved into positive Prices. territory, but I do see that KB Home is pulling back some. But this was a 6.5% jump for the month of July for these existing home sales. Excellent, Nicole. Nicole, thanks very much indeed. Tanya, still with us. I've got a number here up 13.7%. That's the price of the homes, existing homes sold. I think that's year on year. I think that is 13.7%. That's pretty good. That's excellent, and it's showing strength. What we do need to understand, though, about this existing home sale number is that we don't really have numbers from that little tick up in the interest rate because people who locked this rate and closed on these homes locked back in May and June. So it'll be interesting to see next month if it really affected the existing home buyers. We know it affected the refinancers, but the existing home buyers. As far as pricing goes, we're going to continue to see that rise a little bit just on pure supply and demand. By the way, the yield on the 10-year Treasury, not to get too technical, yield on the 10-year is 2.85% after this number came out. That implies that mortgage rates will be up a fraction from where they are now, but nothing serious. And you're on record on this program as saying that even if the mortgage rate goes up to 4.5%, 5%, doesn't make that much of a difference? It really doesn't. When we see that 6 and 7%, we're going to see a huge pullback in housing. All right. No, uh, Tanya, stay there, please, because I know you've got, what is it, the house of the week for us to sell to us, perhaps, later on in the program. Stay there, please. I we're waiting so. for it. <laughs> uh, check the big board. We're now down to still with us from Phoenix. She has what we're calling the home of the week. I believe it is in Tampa, Florida, in an exclusive area. Uh, why don't you describe what you've got? I know you're trying to sell it through Varney and Company. So go ahead, give me a selling job. We've got some pictures too. Go. Well, well, this listing is actually one of my colleagues, Jason Abram, from Scoring the Deals Home, and it is exquisite. It has a grand Gone with the Wind staircase. It's right on the water. It's in uh, Davis Island, which is amazing. 9,000 square feet, eight bedroom, 10 bathroom, which I don't want to clean any of those bathrooms. <laughs> but this house is unreal. And it's listed at $5.4 million. That's about $600 a square foot. And when you're looking at the location of this home and where it is, that really isn't a lot of money for this home. <laughs> oh, quote, Tanya Marchio, <laughs> that really isn't a lot of money for this for house. For this home. For this home. <laughs> you, you, think, you think it's a bargain? Seriously, do you? I do. Yes, I do think it's a bargain, and I think we'll see that price go up. Every single county around Tampa, except for one, has increased in price over the past year. Now, there is, this is in Florida, obviously, Tampa, Florida. It is. There is no estate tax, and there is no income tax in the state of Florida, is there? Well, no, but there is huge property taxes. Ah, well, that's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, can you, tell me the, can you tell me the property tax on a $5.4 million home on Davis Island? 
thousand dollars a year. You ah. could buy an entire house in Phoenix for that amount of money. Well, I'm glad you told us. Uh, this house has not yet been lived in, I think. Is that correct? It has been lived okay. in, but it has not ever been sold since it's been built and remodeled. And you want to sell it by a Varnian company, and you will charge At commission, and I will charge you commission <laughs> if you sell it. it was, I knew that was coming. But it was interesting. <laughs> I mean, it was a beautiful house. There's no question about it. But 5.4 million, not sure. Hey, Tanya, come back soon with another House of the Week, and we'll list it for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure thing. All right, now something uh, much more serious. Europe got a problem, big problem, and it's all about the birth rate. What's the ideal family size for a quarter of all German men? I've got the answer for you. Zero. That's what they think is the perfect size. Mind-boggling. Find out what's going on here in a moment.